Now, you said as a group that you were five years in facade. Mm -hmm. During those five years, what did you feel a lot of the time? Miserable. <laughs> yeah, when you say miserable, if you could describe more, more of the feelings. Um, well, I was going through a lot of the feelings of having to face the painful truth of where I was really at. Uh, I couldn't deny that. When the truth was presented to me, I tried a lot of times. As so you know, when you to deny. faced the painful truth, you'd cried a bit, didn't you? I cried a bit, yeah, yeah, because it was it was deconstructing my facade. I couldn't hold on to that part of me anymore that thought, no, you're really loving, no, you really care about people, all those things. I couldn't I couldn't hold on to that belief anymore. So I wasn't touching my hurt self, but I was having a cry about, oh, that sucks, that feels bad. But also and you then, so, would often get angry. Oh, yes, many times during that process Before you got to the <laughs> yes. Well, I fought the truth. You know, even though I said to you guys I had a strong desire for truth, I still fought it a lot of times. It was just that I could go so far in the fight and then I would have to say, no, but truth is still really important to me, so I'm going to have to do some emotional work on getting rid of this facade that I have or the addiction that I have. And sorry, you wanted. I was just thinking though that it, it, there was also this pattern that it developed, wasn't there, where you would start to ma try to maintain the facade or the addiction, and I'd point something out to you. You initially you'd get really angry with me, mm -hmm. and then I'd draw the line and say, mm -hmm. "You're not getting angry with me. You're, you're either out the door, or you, or you deal with this anger in a more appropriate way." Mm -hmm. So eventually, you started to learn that you had to go out every time you're angry and bash something. <laughs> so, yeah. so Mary eventually went out. Like, in the course of a day, we'd have five conversations. She'd be outside bashing them after every conversation. Yeah. About how angry she felt about it being true. Does that make sense? And every day, for, for weeks on end. Yeah. Like, and, then, and then eventually, you got to the stage where you knew it was true, and that's when you felt a lot of these tears of what we'd probably, probably call the tantrum tears. Yeah, and the, just the pain, it felt like the pain of having to let go of something that I thought about myself. I couldn't deny, I had the evidence in front of me that it wasn't true, and so I was going to have to come to grips with the fact that this is where my soul's at right now. Yeah, so this is all about the pain of the law of compensation. Yes. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So she's starting to feel all the truth about what's going on inside of her soul, and she's starting to feel how bad that feels to feel this way. And during that time, you'd say you'd probably say that's the darkest time of your life, wouldn't you? Definitely. I felt unhappy. For a, well, a lot of you saw me in that time, you know. I still tried a bit of facade, but you could feel how unhappy I really felt and how much I maybe wanted truth, but it was personally confronting me every day. And during that time, you'd get a lot of emails of women saying, yeah, you're being manipulated, you're being controlled, all just to try to make Mary feel that actually it was my problem that she was feeling so sad, right? Why? Because if, if, they had, if they had got through to Mary at that point, where do you think she'd be now? Back where she was. Yep. So she gets all this attack during that time as well. So you're going through all these feelings that feel real bad and then on top of that you're getting attacked. And not just by strangers, by my family, by my um, people that I had had in my life. A lot of people told me that I was doing something really bad for myself, but I could feel that I wanted truth, you know. And I, I could also feel that um, the person with me was not encouraging me in self-punishment. And so that helped me a lot to realise, oh, no, this horrible self-punishment I go to, that's, I'm actually being loved enough to say, don't do that, but the truth still stands, you know. And I also went through in this period um, something I talked to you guys about in the challenging addictions talk about where you feel the addiction and the false beliefs in that addiction. You know, I had very strong false beliefs about what love was, that love meant taking away fear, that love meant um, bartering and all of those things had to be given up. So there was a lot of crying in that but that wasn't yet touching my hurt self, that was just giving up a lot of falsehood. Yeah, that you could was almost say that was the period where you felt you were being hurt, when now when you look at it, you weren't being hurt at all. Yeah. 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 And you, I had to feel those things as well. But this is where the truth's so important. You can't kid yourself that you're actually feeling the hurt self in that place. And that um, 
table that Jesus showed me, that I showed you, that he showed me about God's truth and my personal feelings helped a lot in that period of like, well, does God love in this way? No. So obviously what I'm feeling is just error that I'm going to have to let go of. Mm. Anyway, Good. is that enough? Yeah, yeah. thanks, mate. Yep. Thanks, God.